Who said that every moment of college was supposed to be easy? When you're trying to learn new subjects and develop new skills, all in a new environment, struggling is normal, and being confused is okay, and even failure is okay. It may not feel great, but it doesn't mean that something's gone horribly wrong. It's okay for there to be some uncertainty in your life. You know, there's, you know it's, it's not the end of the road. There's, there's something else for you. It took a lot of, like, tears, <laughs> um, along with opening up to people. It was also really difficult because, like, everyone who I was talking to was like, it gets better. And then in the back of my head, I'm like, okay, I'm sure it does, but, like, I wanted it to get better now. Like, whatever accident befalls you, I think, like, turns out well in the end. My supervisor, um, my research supervisor now always says, when I tell him, like, oh, I screwed up, He's like, great, you failed. Now we have a better success story. Being able to see the light at the end of the tunnel is realizing you're in a tunnel and you want to get out. Uh, what you expressed earlier about, um, you know, just feeling lonely and in that tunnel and looking toward that light, I think it's not something that's necessarily unique to the first year in, in college. I think it's a part of growing up and maturing and becoming adults in a really... Uh, uh, a demanding and, and stressful environment. One thing these students have learned is that it's okay to talk about what's going on. Middlebury expects that all its students will need help, and not just for academic problems. It's okay to ask. Life is unexpected and there can be things like you can plan really well for that week and then that week something happens that makes work seem secondary. It never came to my mind that it could be a reason, you know, that if something is happening at home or something else is going on in your life that you'll be able to get excused from a class or get an extension on a paper. Extensions apply for things that aren't related to work. Try reaching out to your commons dean. Um, and I remember, you know, the first time I went to my dean and I was like, I'm really sorry, but I'm like, can I, you know, can you help me with this? Oh, the deans are great. <laughs> what? I think I'm too close to a dean. You can also schedule an appointment with a counselor at the Pardon Center. Depression, anxiety, or feeling overwhelmed and homesick. Whatever challenges you're dealing with, they can help. Mental illness and, you know, stress and all of those things are things that affect people on this campus. We have to acknowledge that and put ourselves first. Because it's not going to go away if we keep ignoring it. Um, and. A lot of the resources that have been mentioned earlier, like counseling and those sorts of things, like there's support in lots of different forms depending on where you are. And life, life doesn't stop because you have academics. <laughs> Caring for your whole self is incredibly important. Middlebury even has a health and wellness education program with resources to help you sleep, practice mindfulness, explore the role of substance use in your life, learn about stress management, and lots of other areas that can contribute to or detract from your overall health as a person. With help and commitment to your own learning and growth, you'll find strategies that allow you to do your work and take good care of yourself.